So here we are again, Anthony Grisala doing some business math. Says find the APY corresponding to the following nominal rate. And we're told 7% compounded quarterly. When we convert this to a, a AP, when we find the APY, what we're trying to do is figure out, okay, 7% compounded quarterly is the same thing as what percentage compounded annually. The annual percentage yield, the APY, what economists uh, refer to as the um, uh, effective rate, calculates the, or converts the quarterly rate to an annual compounding rate. And the formula we're going to use for this is 1 plus I'll write it with the R and the M. R over M to the M minus 1. And the natural question is, well, what the heck are R and M? Well, lowercase r is just that stated rate. M is the number of periods, or compounding periods, per year. So let's see, on this problem, the stated rate would be 0 0.07, that's R. And what about the number of periods per year? Hmm. Quarterly, how many quarters are there in a year? Four. So plugging in here, we would have 1 plus R over m to the m power minus 1 and here's where we punch into our calculator I'm using what a TI 83 okay Let's sort of let me see if I can talk this oh that's no good oh wait a minute you know what I forgot to do Now I'll move this over. We have a lot of room here, don't we? Let me see if I can figure out a way to get this calculator positioned. Let me brighten this. No, oh, it's getting dimmer. Hmm. Let me see now. We had it, or oh, I had it for a moment. Let me see, is it still there? Oh gosh, I just want to show y'all the sequence of steps to this thing. Let me turn on the lamp and see if... Okay. Oh gosh. Y'all are being way too patient with all of this. <laughs> you know? Eventually... Well, I won't tell y'all my problem. Eventually. Hmm? Use the other side of the room. The other side? You mean like this? No, like the other one. What? Like, I oh, yeah. like, oh, mm -hmm. you know what, I'm just going to have to try to hold it with my hand until I figure out where it goes. Ooh, two, okay, we're just going to go ahead, let me start patching in. I'll hit parentheses, one plus point zero seven divided by four close parentheses so let's see oh no you can see it y'all can see it yes sir oh wow y'all are way too patient for all of this now let's see raise to the fourth power so i'll go arrow four then a minus one and i can't see what that's uh, showing it's po showing a point zero seven one eight five nine dot 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 we want to write this as a percentage rounded to the nearest hundred so let's first of all write it as a percent you move the decimal point two places so that would be a seven point then rounding to the nearest hundredth how many digits is that after the decimal point Two, so 7.19 percent. 
Okay, the eight you would round up to a nine because the digit after it is a five or bigger. So seven point or seven percent compounded quarterly would be the same thing as seven point one nine percent compounded annually. That seven point one nine is what's called the annual percentage yield. It's a way of converting and comparing int periodic compounding interest rates. 7% compounded quarterly is the same as 7.19% compounded annually. It's the law that every sort of savings account or uh, CD, whatever, must state that APY. Why? That way you can compare. Okay, if you're looking at different bank rates, which one's the highest? Look at the APY, and whichever one is the highest, that's the one that, you know, gives you the most money. Okay? Now, let's do another one of these, just to make sure you have the hang of it. Ooh, this is a very low interest rate. It says 2% semi-annually. Let's convert it to... an annual compounding rate. Same type of problem. Find the APY. So what you're doing is, okay, instead of the bank calculating interest twice in the year, every six months, instead of that, what interest rate would give us the same amount of money if it just calculated it once at the end of the year? Well, same formula, 1 over R to the M raised to the M minus 1. Oh, I should write up my R and my M. What's my R? Um, let's see. 2% semi-annually, so 0 0.02. Oh, wow, we're going to have a couple of twos here. Uh, let's see, semi-annual. If M is the number of periods per year, how many semi-annual periods are there? Two. Two. You'll notice that the amount of investment, P, doesn't matter. It's not in this formula. Neither is the number of years. Okay? Investing for one year, five years, that doesn't affect the APY. Uh, so let's see. One plus R over M raised to the M power minus 1. Uh-oh, what am I about to do? Let me try to see if I punch this into the calculator again. I'll have to practice with this. Oh, no. I hold it like that. Okay, so I'll go parentheses 1 plus 0 0.02 over 2, close parentheses, and I'm just going to hit the square key. Then a minus 1, should we expect it to be more or less than 2%? Or more. more, a little bit more. 0 0.0201. So if we're going to write that as an interest rate, I mean as a percentage now, Move the decimal point two places, 2.01%. Okay. So 2% compounded semi-annually would be the same as 2.01% compounded just annually. Okay. So generally, the more you compound, the more interest you earn. Mm. Okay. Any questions there?